I'm looking for my fan brush and it's there in my hand. This is going to be the easiest Northern Lights painting you could ever do. I've taken a black canvas and I've coated it in a little bit of Indian yellow, then Viridian or Thalo green, whichever you've got. And then at the very edges, I've used Windsor blue, but you could use Thalo blue. Okay, put it all on, wipe it all off. Okay, little bit of white, just a tiny bit of white. If you think you've got too much, wipe some off. Okay, you can always add more on. Okay, I'm going to start off just on here and I'm just going to touch on probably about there, right through that, right through there. Okay, I'm going to come up with sideward strokes, just touch on and I'm going to go up and maybe back around. Okay, or you could just take it completely off the canvas in one big arc. Okay, have I picked up much colour? No, I don't think so. So I'm just going to load a bit in there all right and i'm just gonna give it another one okay so touch on sideways on like so a little bit wider this time come up to the top back across and up like so okay just there like that i was very lucky not so long back where i live uh in northern england we got to see the northern lights which is amazing beautiful reds and greens okay i had to stay up very very late for it but we did it okay we did it all right so there we go so i'm just going to extend them down a little bit more there like so now we need some of that lot in to his reflection so this is where it'd be better if i was stood right in front of the canvas but i'm not i'm just back here okay and i come down there like that obviously it won't the canvas needs to be this long because of the the uh where we put the horizon line but there we go so we'll go across and maybe a little bit come down here like so and there we go and with this one we'll start off here and we'll come off the canvas around about there like so okay that's as white that's easy peasy easy peasy now let's grab another fan brush okay this one's dry and clean though it doesn't look clean it is clean and i'm just going to pull some of this okay just pull and i'm going to pull up in one stroke see it's hitting the yellows there and we'll get further up and it may even hit the greens okay now if this isn't strong enough for you then you may need to put a little bit more paint on the canvas okay but i like that as it is we may put a bit more at the top okay and then same down here and just pull and pull go into a general sweeping motion i hope you can see that okay general sweeping motion and pull and pull and pull and get up off the top okay wipe off any excess and same principle again down here little strokes and then bigger strokes as we get away from the center up there like that all right down here we'll do the same but we're not too concerned because we are going to hit this with some big brush action and some uh, other reflections that are going to go on top of this okay so there we go just pull that down in fact it'll go that way won't it like so and again there don't forget that little bit down and across like that how easy was that super super duper easy in fact it was that easy we're going to do it a little bit more i just want to demonstrate if it's not strong enough okay so in places i'm going to put a little bit more paint on so just there just for for demonstration purposes i'll just put a little bit more white on there like that okay maybe a bit on that corner there like so and we can add a little bit more there as well maybe that's got a bit more do for you doing it okay do we want something the water cost we do we might as well haven't we since we've got the brush on the go that should do us back to the fan brush that we've used to do the blender reaction with and same principle just grab and pull in a general direction there we go, with the Northern Lights, some of the greatest phenomena in the natural world. Really is. And then back up here, 
where it's twisted or maybe maybe I'd, maybe it won't look like that in real life but hey we're painters we can paint anything we could put we could put a flying elephant up there if we wanted to okay surrealism yeah surrealism so again just paint that flow it in let it pick up the green and the blue and the yellow now you can do this with pinks as well it's beautiful with pinks beautiful okay there we go and then down here in the water not too concerned like i said before but we want something down there don't we, we want something down there like that and same this way on that one so there you get the basic gist of the northern lights that's super duper easy isn't it super duper right in fact well i've got that on the go might as well make use of this brush i'm going to go into a dark blue color so this is black blue into some white now i don't know if you can see this if it'll show up on there or not it'll just about show up i think and i'm just going to tap up and tap down this is going to be our little distant forest little distant forest way back over the water just tap it in and you want them tighter towards there and wider at the at the edges just tap down tap 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 push in tap down more pressure as you come across here more pressure like that fill in any gaps if you get any gaps and look like fences fence posts just fill them in there like so and then maybe back over onto this side as well don't leave this part out down or somebody in the comments will shout at you some people in the comments shout at me anyway okay all right call me all sorts of names but it's all good fun it's all good fun any comment is a good comment that's what i say right so with that i'm just going to wipe off any excess don't need to clean the brush and i'm just going to hit some of that white okay the light source the light source i believe we can just have coming i'm just going to have it coming from my left there so i'm just going to sparkle some of these off not them all but just one or two and again if you just tap on sideways on like this you get all kinds of little twigs and stuff coming off the brush which is just super duper helpful okay super duper helpful and just go across and let's highlight some of these trees now you don't want many highlights coming down here okay because it's it's away from the light source but we still highlight one or two especially the the taller ones okay they get more light so they grow up a little bit faster yeah and down here again a bit taller sideways on get some twigs on the go some branches and stuff like that do, 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 all over that there like so and up and up and up there we go like that and again just put a few more in there just break that line up we want a few here as well but of course it might be on the other side this one so we will maybe just touch 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 i can't see that i really the glare from the lights and everything i can't and i'm this far gone sideways on i can't see it anyway you'll have to let me know if it looks reasonable reasonable okay a little bit of that in the reflection just down there like there good stuff okay let's grab the big brush we need the big brush give it a real good belt beat the devil out of it if you know what i mean okay grab and pull straight down straight down that goes straight over everything your northern lights in the reflection in the water and everything okay again we want to come round like that create this land that's closer to us there okay there we go and then gently across it all gently across everything there in the water and we may even be able to move some of that look at that that looks like water cool stuff yeah cool stuff let's get the palette knife a little bit of that white paint it's thinned out okay it's thinned out so i'll put a little bit of oil in that but you can use uh you can use what is it called now magic white liquid white whatever whatever medium you've got going whatever medium floats your boat and again keep the knife parallel to the base of the canvas don't have it like that if that makes sense i hope it does yeah keep reloading keep reloading there 
Okay, now we can even put some little ripples out here now. Do we want them strong or do we want them big and heavy? Little and strong, I think. There we go, like that. And again, if it gets too heavy and too much for you, gently go across, tease them in to the composition. No problemo. Right, let's grab that brush again, okay? Wipe off any of the excess. I'm just gonna go into a real dark blue color now. Really dark. It's black, blue, brown. I think there's a bit of crimson in there as well. All the good old dark colors. And we're gonna have something there like so. And then just come straight down over everything. Over everything. Now this should stick because there's very little paint on there. But if it doesn't, you know what to do, folks. Thin it out slightly, but only slightly okay and then just i'm just going to turn the brush that way and push some twigs in that way that looks a bit of a gunky mess at the moment but when we start to move it about like so side to side strokes push and pull and tease all these branches and whatever out of the bristles and onto the canvas we'll have a magical little tree just there like so this is very blue i'm looking at this really close on my nose is practically touching the canvas okay in fact sometimes i get that close to the canvas i can't see what i'm doing and then i have to wear glasses okay so there we go down there like that bit more color bit more color down in the base like that good stuff good stuff right any excess again just wipe clean off I'm going to go straight into the white, okay? Straight into the white. Might even grab a touch of linseed oil. I use with linseed oil, but you use any thinning medium that, that you like. Poppy oil, liquid clear, even just paint thinner, okay? If that, if that makes sense. And we're going to touch on there, just at the top, like that. And then use the corner of the brush, and we'll put in some nice highlights of these trees go all the way across okay all the way across over this lot there okay you won't hurt it you won't harm it it's there we painted it we practiced we made it our own okay and then down there like that and a bit more here we'll get close to the base won't we there we go get close to the base and the tree there maybe grab just a touch of the white just to really sparkle off some areas like that okay and turn the brush upwards and i'm just going to push up and just highlight the grasses a little bit just there that'll do that'll do for that right i'm going to use the point of the brush straight into some white straight into some white i'm just going to hit the canvas in various places look at that we've got stars Stars in their eyes, okay, stars, star, stars, okay, make them random, don't, don't try and make a picture out of the stars, okay, and then we'll put one or two, we should have done this earlier, but I forgot, okay, uh, we'll put one or two down here, where wherever there was, so that's in between, so we'll put a dot there, and a dot there, and a dot there, dot there, dot there, dot there, that's the stars there, okay, Gently set them into the picture, but we don't really want to touch those. Okay, just very gently into the picture, just like that. And there we have it. I think we've got a beautiful finished Northern Lights painting. This is very, very easy, very, very simple. You'll love it. If you give it a try, share it with us. If you like the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not done so already. Until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.